I want to talk about the differences you may not even realize unless you've been a mom to the masses. Who buys this many socks? I live in a self-induced madhouse. Taking myself seriously isn't an option. So I'm doing what any good mom would do, winging it. So today I wanted to offer a little perspective because that's about all I have. I have a lot of freaking kids. Six to be exact. Girls and boys. Ranging ages in from almost two to 21. So I feel like I'm pretty covered in the experience department. So today I want to speak for the moms with truckloads of kids. I won't even get started about the mass amount of foods we buy to support the NFL team we're raising. Or how these will be gone by dinner. Sometimes being a mom who's chosen to have an entire litter can be pretty isolating. Whether it be because we don't want to be stressed out from trying to keep an entire herd of wild animals from escaping the zoo so we don't take them anywhere or friends with fewer kids count us out due to the fact that we can't because we have too many kids. It can often be pretty lonely. Most of the texts I get from my really good friends that I haven't lost due to being in solitude for years consist of, you alive, need anything? This is my life right now with a bunch of young kids at home. It's how I'm able to enjoy my life and keep my kids alive without losing one of them. No pressure there, right? Oh, sure, I can invite people over, host the party. On a normal day, I have six or seven people clawing at me for attention as it is. I'd rather stick my face in a vat of hot oil than try to entertain people. My friends that made it through the elimination process that happens when you're home, come to my house and expect nothing but my presence and my completely divided attention. As a mom of one or even two kids, I never could have imagined my life like this. Then motherhood slapped me in the face and knocked me straight on my butt. I have been humbled and now I have perspective. I have been tested in ways as a mom that I never could have imagined and if you had asked me before I became a mom, I would have said there's no way I can handle that. But somehow I did, even though my pride and my image took a hit, a big hit. <laughs> Sometimes things tumble out of my sweet mom van that I swore I'd never have. On more occasions than not, someone has bed head, a missing shoe, or a missing coat, and I forget diapers all the time. To say that my brain is fried is a huge understatement. Here's the deal. With this shift and this change in my life, I've lost a lot of friends. Because I wasn't able to give them the attention that they wanted or were expecting, or because I wasn't available to do things with them, over time I realized that those kinds of relationships really aren't sustainable while you're a mom. So I'm speaking on behalf of all moms when I say, please have some patience. And if you have a friend that you miss that you haven't been able to see because one of you has an entire army that you're taking care of, just let her know that you're still there, that you still care and that you know how hard she's working to be the best mom that she can be. One day, all of us young moms will be old ladies. We'll have time for lunches and movies and the friends that are left in the end will be the ones who were understanding while we were in the trenches of raising the future of mankind. So be kind to that friend. Don't forget about us. We may not be available as much as you want us to be or as much as even we want us to be, but we still think about you and we still love you. Don't stop inviting us just because we haven't been able to the hundred times before. One day we'll be able to hang out again and we'll be able to enjoy our time with you. But please don't hold it against us. We do want to. And don't assume that you aren't important to us just because we have different priorities now. And they'll change once our kids are grown. Don't miss any videos. Hit that subscribe button and be one of the first ones notified by hitting that bell button.